when is this going to stop? Meanwhile, and they let their lawn go brown to help conserve water. At the order of the city, now they're facing a fine up to $500 because their lawn turned brown. Oh, no. Is this fair? I don't, of course it's not fair. I can't even pretend that it's fair. <laughs> I'm supposed to pretend that it's fair, but it's not fair. Okay? I can't <laughs> pretend that it's fair. It's not, it's How interesting, it, but it's, it is not fair. Mornings are better with friends. All right, 80% of California is now in an extreme drought. What else is new? So many owners are not watering their lawns to conserve water. That seems reasonable. Well, the Cordy family did just that, but now they're facing fines of up to 500 bucks for a brown lawn. Well, Michael and Laura Cordy join us now from California. Michael and Laura, thanks a lot for coming on this morning. I just want to make sure we understand the story correctly. You were asked not to water your lawn, and so you didn't because there's a big drought. And now you're facing a fine because you didn't water your lawn? Is that right? That's right. It was, um, we're following the orders of the state government and our consciences, and we s reduced our watering, and the city government decided to fine us, or we also face criminal actions for or, wow. having a brown lawn. That's incredible because we have no crime now, so we should focus on the grass. Laura, what is you? How did you find out that you were going to, you were targeted for this potential fine? Uh, Tuesday afternoon, I was at home and uh, we received the flyer on the door. So we still are trying to reach the uh, code enforcement department of the city to try and find out what we need to do to remediate the lawn. Uh, Mike, are you ready to go to jail for your beliefs as a conscientious lawn objector? <laughs> conscientious lawn objector, I like that. Um, well, I will stand up for my principles, and I'm thinking the city of Glendora will not go that far, but um, if worse comes to worse, I will add a little more water to avoid jail time. Okay, fine. Well, that's good. We got you. We broke some news there. <laughs> All right, so here's what Glendora City Manager is saying, quote, our policy is to seek voluntary compliance, dot, 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 when staff determine that the home was occupied by a buy on the verge of violating the maintenance standards, they left a flyer just reminding them that we can conserve and have a wonderful landscape property that helps achieve conservation. Do you believe that you just don't have the right, misc, uh, the right mix of water and drought protection? Do you believe the city is right in saying you can have it both ways? Laura. Um, the way they gave us the flyer, they really didn't offer us any suggestions on what we could be doing. So, you know, our only guidance was what we had heard from the state, which was just to reduce overall water usage by 20 percent. So, um, you know, we're still waiting to hear what we could do with the city. I mean, we've gotten feedback from friends and other people about hey. lawn removal. I, I have a feeling that's where we're going to head. You probably are. Well, I can but, tell you this, um, that America's landscaping community raises its leaf blowers in solidarity with you. Absolutely. Mike and Laura, and so <laughs> do we. And you're responsible. And are on your side. Yeah, you're responsible in California. It's always in a drought. You take action, and now you're going to get fined. Mike and Laura, thanks so much. Good luck. Hope you avoid jail. Sure. Up